Okay, so these are the two Paul Smith pieces, two bespoke rondel pieces. If you look into the sea, you can see the stripe, that's for Paul Stripes. And it kind of tells his story and all of his kind of eccentricities and curiosities. Um, Paul Smith started off literally from his kitchen table. His wife used to make the clothes, he used to design them. He used to sew them together, started up in Nottingham. Um, he's incredibly industrious. He's so inspiring to me. He is just one of those persons that's like a firework when you meet them. Um, this is a store in Notting Hill, which is like a house he bought. This on three different floors and has all the beautiful different um, curiosities. What he's really famous for is Obviously, he's beautifully tailored suits and clothes. He does men's, he does women's, but he also um, always fills his stores up with the most wonderful curiosities. He likes a lot of artists to work with. He has three beautiful boutiques in Covent Garden, where also his offices are. On the top floor is office building. He has this studio, which is just like a cave of curiosities. It's absolutely amazing. This is uh, his LA store. The pink building, which is the most Instagram building in the world. You've got the multicolored sea <coughs> You've got the multicolored van. You've got the little rabbit with the teacups, with the curiosities, um, all stacked up on his back. And you've got Tower Bridge in there as well. Um, he loves bicycles and he's a big cycling enthusiast. You've got all the different clocks and then you've got the tailors here and all the different London centric people. Here you have more of his stuff from the world. This is the one near Borough Market. This is a New York Tower. You've got the dog driving, um, the little car, more bicycle flying curiosities. So this one yes is kind of general um, celebration of his stuff and there isn't much about Japan here, but this is the Japan Tower. So obviously, like for the past 20 or 30 years, could even be longer, has had this very intense relationship in Japan. The Japanese has loved him, and the love is mutual. So, yes, I think there's over 200 stores in Japan, which is fascinating. But I think the most greatest thing, you can find some bits of great and very, very open, kind, and just invites everybody to love art, appreciate design, and yes, it's a very giving kind of character.